Hey guys, and welcome back to this Portsmouth FIFA 21 Road to Glory series. But before we jump into the episode today, I just want to give a huge shout out and say thank you to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people just like you and me. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in a world of creativity. Whether you're an artist, filmmaker, photographer or a content creator like myself, there is a course on Skillshare for everybody. Skillshare is all about learning and that's why it remains ad-free so that you can continue on your creative journey without interruption. With the constant addition of new premium classes, you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's incredible value too. If you take out an annual subscription, it works out less than $10 a month. To improve the quality of my own videos, I've recently acquired a new editing software, but I'm unsure how to use it. A quick search through the course list on Skillshare, and I was able to find a course called Learn to Edit Using Final Cut Pro by Benjamin Hassall. I'm already making major improvements to my editing game, and I can't wait to continue and finish the rest of the course. Alongside the regular classes, Skillshare also offers a new live class experience, which enables you to watch along and be inspired in real time so that you can connect with the most popular teachers and watch along with other like-minded Skillshare members live. As if all of that wasn't enough for you guys, we've also got an amazing offer for you. The first 1,000 subscribers to head down to the description and click on that link will receive a free trial of premium membership. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and start your Skillshare journey today. So first game of the episode sees us take on mid-table Blackburn Rovers. We're away from home, but they're going to wear their away kit because, again, another team with blue and white kits. I mean, no getting away from it. They're just literally half blue, half white. Whatever kit we play in, there would have been a clash. So that's why they're wearing red. Mm, I was going to say about the formation. I was going to say I've experimented, but I don't think I have too much. Um, Norris in midfield, I think, seems to work. And a few of you in the comments seem to go with it. You also suggested that I stop messing around with the front line and stop rotating it so much. So Parrott and Jones are the strikers today. Let's see if they can find some form. Ronan Curtis, incidentally, only making the bench today because Araki has been in great form. Had a goal and assist on his debut. We got a goal last time out. He's been good. In hindsight, what I should have done is probably drop Wilkes, play Araki on the right and bring Curtis in on the left. But it's done now. The lineup has been named. Keen Bryan. Coming in at centre-back. Is it his first start? No, it's not his first start. But Sassi at right-back two in place of Johnson. But Big Mac straight back into the 11. 4-3-3 for Blackburn Rovers. But no Bradley Dack in the lineup. We are fourth in the table after a good start. Although we are a whopping seven points behind league leaders Sheffield United. Who have picked up 27 points from a possible 27 in their opening nine games. Which is mad. The team has got relegated. They seem to have stuck together, regrouped and... Uh, just, they're absolutely flying. Madness. We need Troy Parrott to hit some form. We know Ricky J. Jones is a finisher. And just as I say that, please don't do the commentator's curse on me. Rick. Oh, my God. I knew that was coming. That coming forward. Pending to be done. Thompson and Brian get each other's way. Well, it wasn't Thompson. Seddon and Brian get each other's way. But they got the job done. And now, Malik Wilkes on the right-hand side. Surely he's got the pace to get beyond his man. Surely. He's going to lay it off. Touch. Finish. Thompson. Oh, it's hit the defender right in the face. Right in the mush. Wilkes into Norris in his more advanced role today. Ball is dinked over the top for Ricky J. Jones. Oh, what a save. Lay it off. Smack that. Oh, what a save again. Norris, finish that, please. Oh, my word. Three golden chances. Two denied by the keeper and then a wild finish from Norris. Look at that. Whack. He's got overexcited. Norris. Around the corner, Wilkes has gone again. Ricky J. Jones has found him. Malik Wilkes, this is all on you, son. We know you're left-footed. Oh, how's the defender got back? How? Here we go. Parrot's making a run. Parrot's been found. Troy Parrot, take it away from the defender. Get your finish. Eh, that's it. That's what we want from you. That's why we signed you. Troy Parrot with a proper striker's goal. Controls the ball, breaks away from the defender, and then just drives it past the goalkeeper. That's what we want. And that's what we expect to see on the regular. Maybe now he's got that, the floodgates will open and the goals will start to flow. That is a great strike. Parrot finally showing us what he's capable of. Look how sweetly he struck that. Roy Parrot at last, man. So happy for the geezer. Blackburn looking for a response. Ooh, little scoop pass. Hello. Geeky, full of confidence. Ian Bryan trying to get the tackle in. Jack at the back is there. There's gaps all over the gap at the moment. Sassy trying to get back. Ah, oh, Keen Bryan with a block. And then the save from uh, Big Mac. He looks to set us on the counter-attack with a bad throw, actually. 
I thought we had space there and we didn't. Keen Bryan. Oh, big, massive tackle from the new lad. And this is why we can afford to play Norris in midfield. Wilkes, away you go. You've got Jones in the middle. Jones, stay on side. Ricky, touch, finish. Cool as you like. Cool as you like. It's two. And Ricky J. Jones, like we said earlier on in the episode, we know he's a finisher. Assist for Wilkes. Home fans are booing. Away fans are going crazy. That is a brilliant goal. The touch and the finish. The finesse. In the awareness of what the keeper was doing. He kind of half come out and then stopped. I thought he was going to dive at my feet, but he didn't. Ricky, my son. Already celebrating that. That burn free kick clipped into the box. Everybody's left it. Jack was really confident there, wasn't he? He just moved out of the way. Defending to be done. Sassy against Brereton. Didn't see him in the starting lineup, actually. Or did he come as a sub or was he starting? Did I just miss his name? Great block from Seddon. Good piece of defending. Come in for a bit of stick. In the comments, said in. Two left backs been mentioned as potential. Parrot has done wonders. Ah, oh, tried to feed it through. But yeah, a few other men, uh, left backs were mentioned saying, try these. Said and don't seem to be doing it for you. I think he will. Give him a bit of time. He's got good potential. I'm, I'm confident he'll come good. But he has made a few errors which have led to opposition goals. So he'll be looking to, uh, looking to improve his game over the next couple of weeks. Just to prove to you, he is our man at left back. That burn on the attack. Oh my god, Jack's been skinned, even though we knew that was coming. Keen Bryan with the block. Ball not cleared though. Big Mac with a save. Let's get the ball away. That is some lackluster defending, lads. Get rid. That'll do. Brilliant. Wilkes. He was sassy. Good ball control. Don't really know what he's doing with it. Hasn't got a lot of options, has he? Thompson, confident in possession, finds Parrot. Parrot to Wilkes. Somehow finds its way back to Thompson. Ricky J. Jones onside here, bending his run. Ricky J. Jo oh, that's a great save. This keeper's had a great game, to be fair. On comes the main man, Ronan Curtis. Coming on to replace Iraqi Bra Blackburn. Blackburn are also making a substitution of their own here, but we're going to drive this to the edge of the box. Touch. No Keen Bryan. Oh. Let's see if he had a shot in his locker. Sassy. This is the ball. Kind of weird technique, but gets there. Jones, Parrot, can he get another goal? No, instead he lays it into Ricky J. Jones. That's a finish. Maybe these two have got the chemistry to play up top together. That was an unbelievable first time finish from Ricky J. Jones and great awareness from Parrot with the back heel. Maybe we should stick with these two. And this is better than our performance in recent weeks. Look at this for a one two. Whoop, see ya. Perfect weighted and. He does the rest. What can you say about that finish other than it is top, top draw? With that goal put in the game in the bag, final two changes have been made. Parrot off for Charlie Austin and Thompson off. We're going to give Bobby Beveridge a run out. There's a banger in this game for him, isn't there? It's just, there is. There just is. Somebody in the comments also said a beverage banger sounds like the kind of food that you would order on a away day. I'll have the beverage banger, please, mate. That is, yeah, we'll sell it as some kind of burger. At home games. Fratton Park, if you're listening and you sign Bobby Beveridge, who isn't real, but if you do, get it done. Go on, Ronan. Off the bench. Quick anyway. But look at him. Bundles of energy. They don't know what they're doing. There's four men in the box here. Touch. Finish. Yeah, Charlie Austin's not messing about, is he? He sees goals and he wants in on the act. Oh, rolling back the years, Charlie. Rolling back the years, sunshine. He knew he weren't going to miss that. The moment that ball come across, he was either going to head it in first time or take a touch and just drive it past the keeps. 4-0. They're struggling. They're actually not ninth. I don't know why I thought they were ninth. They are struggling. They're 19th in the table, actually. Seddon. Curtis. Seddon takes over. Go on, boy. Go on, Seddon. Go on, Seddon. Blackburn falling apart here. Seddon could grab his first pumpy goal here in the series. No. Cleared away. Blackburn coming forward. They're looking for a consolation goal here. And they very nearly found it. But put wide. There you go. Full time whistle goes. What a performance. On the road. 4-0, guys. Positives for Parrot and Ricky J. Jones. Honestly, linked up so well. Sheffield United improved to make it 30 points from 30. Look at that lead at the top of the table, man. And now we're taking on Charlton at Fratton Park. Charlton, of course, the team that come up with us from League One. 
last season. So we're very familiar with them. We've made a couple of changes again to the starting eleven. Curtis comes back in. Wilkes comes out. Araki will start on the right. Bobby Beveridge back into midfield. Norris drops back into centre-back. Sassy keeps his place at right back ahead of Johnson. That's not going to be a long-term thing, but Sassy played all right in the last game and we kept a clean sheet. Parrott and Jones up front. Again, you've got the dangerous Bogle leading the line for Charlton Athletic. We line up with a 4-3-3. Looking to take the game to us. Jonathan Williams caused us some problems last season. That's a great ball. Bit of space here. Oh, that's an even better ball. Charlton lead. Early on, flag stays down. It's Bogle. And it took them just eight minutes. We've been struggling recently in fixtures. The Blackburn won. We seem to get our mojo back. I'm pretty sure that was Bogle who scored. Ball has played across. Whack. How's that for a finish, man? Big Mac. By the time he even flew across the goal, ball's in the back of the net. Look, not getting there. What a move. Why are we staring at Big Mac like this? That's outrageous. Struggled as well, Charlton, since coming up. They're 22nd in the table. So this would be a real surprise. We're by far performing the other two promoted teams. But not in this particular game, we're not. Here is Bobby Beveridge. Araki needs to win that header, and he has. And Beveridge will take it down. Cruyff turn. Brings it out wide. Seddon onto Curtis. Cur oh. The tackle. 20 minutes in. No sign of an equaliser yet. Here is Troy Parrott. Things one at Curtis, and I quite like it, actually. Ronan Curtis taking on his man. Seddon on the overlap. Tried to find him, but pass was blocked, and then ricocheted back to Curtis. He finds him now. Seddon. Drills it in. Ricky J. Jones. Not known for his heading ability, I don't think. But tried to pick him out there. Jack, that's a huge error. Norris at the back. Oh, my God. Dead and on the cover. Trying to get there. I don't know why they chose to play that pass. That's given us time to get a few men behind the ball. Charlton calm. Yes, Jack. Made up for his earlier error. Well, that was a bit of a nightmare. Why did they pass that? Could have been in. Here's Bobby Beveridge. Go on, boy. Put the pace on the man. Still got it, Bobby. Still got it, Bobby. Looks for Parrot. Oh, the pass was too too strong. Too much on it. What happened to Parrot's legs there? That looks a bit weird. Ball into his feet again. He's going to lay it off this time for Ricky. First time. Didn't really catch it cleanly. Promising, though. Charlton coming forward. Jack just plows through the back of his man. Charlton in possession. Ball chipped down the line. Uh-oh. Jack, don't give a penalty away, please. Let's get the ball back cleanly. Oh, he's been nuts. He's been absolutely nutmegged. Ball into the box. Bogle. Challenge come in from Sassy. It was a good one. Now we can break. Beveridge. Go on, Bobby. Pace. He does carry the ball at pace. Bobby Beveridge. He's got Curtis out to his left. Instead, he's going to lay it off to Thompson. Whack. Oh, it's gone wide. Ben. Got one on the front foot again here. Beveridge trying to cover, and he has. Why we're still playing, I don't know. Minimum of two minutes to be added. We're in way past those. Big Mac comes and claims the corner. Get rid. Disappointing first half, actually. We haven't really looked like scoring. Thompson chance, probably the best one we've had. Dalton coming forward with Jonathan Williams. Don't give him any time and space in the box. We know how tricky he can be. There we go. Poke the ball away. Curtis into Parrott. No, into Jones. I was thinking about passing to Parrot. That's why his name slipped off the tongue. Jones. He still goes for Curtis. Why am I getting so excited? We're not even that close to the goal. Bend it in. Parrot. Oh. Parrot. Bob's to the beverage. Bob's to the beverage. Still fighting for it. He's got it. Jones. Ronan Curtis. Ronan Curtis. Never in doubt. It's just calmness when he's in front of goal, isn't it? And I love seeing this celebration. It is just get the ball to him. Now you know what comes next. No doubt ever with this man on his right foot cutting in like that on the left-hand side. Great tenacity from Beveridge. Good assist and awareness from Jones. Just bend it. Bend it into the corner. Yes, Norris. Back at centre-back. Where he belongs. Oh, my God. He's been out-muscled. He's got to run past the ball. Dassey. Oh, no. Where are you going? Kind of did the splits off the pitch. Jack, get back. Jack, love it. Good work. Right, Araki. Go. Oh, Parrot's in. Parrot's in. Troy Parrot. Could be another goal for him here. Could be another one for Ricky J. Jones. That is sweaty, isn't it? That is really sweaty, but 
We were losing this game. Got to do what you can to win the games, eh? If that means squaring it to Ricky J. Jones, then that's what we'll do. Troy Parrott, well played. Unselfish. Very, very unselfish behaviour. Especially as a man who's lacked goals since signing. That could easily have been intercepted as well, but Ricky's got another one. Yes, said um, Ricky. Into beverage. Bobby showing off now. Araki. Would have been an assist for him if Parrot had have finished it. He might get one here with Ben Thompson. Oh, it's blocked. Corner. Driven in. Norris. Oh, terrible. Get up above it, son. All right, the lead is only 2-1. So do not get comfortable, lads. One chance for Charlton and it could be 2-2. And that was a good save from Big Mac. Shot come in real fast. Really good executed volley. Just beat Jack Watmore to the ball. Big Mac alert, though. Needs to be alert again. Charlton corner. Curtis should deal with it, and he does. Needs to get out there, lads. Doing the offside trap just to push the lads up and not be so deep. Not really to catch them offside as such. Said and deal with it. Well done. That time, no messing. Been beaten to the ball that back stick before, and it's led to goals. Not today. Double Pompey change. Austin and Cannon coming on. Ricky J. Jones being rested, and Ben Thompson. I'm not sure what I make of Thompson. He's like decent some games, he's average the next. I don't know. It's like a little bit of inconsistency, I suppose. Not really sure, but we've had that with quite a few players this season. Oh, Cannon, what are you doing? Cannon a bit rusty. There we go. Bobby Beveridge gets a foot in. You two have got to take that ball off him. There we go. Norris. That's it. Play your way out of danger. Cannon, take over. Oh, God. Got there. Austin. Parrot. Needs Araki to make a run. Araki is making runs now. Here he is. Ryotaro, Araki. Back. Parrot. Austin. Cannon. Need players. Bobby Beveridge arriving. Touch. Finish. Bobby Beveridge. What was the keeper doing there? He was like in no man's land. Didn't know whether to come or go. Either way, it's a fantastic finish. Clipped off the post. Seen that a couple of times in recent episodes. Players going for that chipped finish. The keeper's positioning though. All over the gaff. That was a proper up and down lob. Cannon. Go on, boy. Go on, Cannon. Love Parrot to get another goal. Charlton falling apart. Troy Parrot! Yes! Floodgates have opened. Not only for him, but for us as well. That's eight goals in two games now. Off the back of a fairly tough episode last time. Oh, Troy. My guy. Assist for Cannon off the bench. He'll be happy with that. His driving run. But yeah, he gave Parrot very little to do, didn't he? Boom, there we go. Full time whistle. 4 1, it's finished. Beautiful. Beautiful. And his form has not gone unnoticed. Troy Parrott earning himself a call up to the Ireland team. Good to see. That win, by the way, put us up to second. But now we face a trip. It will no doubt be tough to Carrow Road. Where are Norwich in the table? I'd expect them to be up there. Yeah, you go. You're just eighth. Look. Trying to uh, sneak into those playoff places, which they could do with a win. Sheffield United, 11 and 11. This will be a tough game, as we know. Norwich, very, very good side. Um... Callum Johnson's come back in. That's what I can think of off the top of my head. Wilkes back in. Curtis on the left. Araki misses out. Other than that, I think the squad is exactly the same. Yeah, there you have it. Jones and Parrott like what they're bringing to the table. Curtis, Thompson, Beveridge, Wilkes. Johnson, Watmore, Norris, Seddon. And Big Mac in the sticks. 4 4 one, one Or what looks like a 4 2 three. It is a 4 4 one, one But it looks like a, a 4 2 three, one here for Norwich. But Steeperman's playing behind Hugo up top. They've got Wendia. On the right, it was really, really tricky. Zimmerman, the captain, at the back. Sam Byram at right back. And the ever-experienced Tim Crawl in goal. Can't see us scoring four goals today, I don't think. I don't think Norwich will allow it. They're a good side. Keep saying it. It's true. They're in here early doors. Keeper comes out. Off the line from Jack. I was hoping he'd get there. I said off the line from Jack before he even connected with it on the volley. But he got it away. That's a good ball. Parrot. Go on, Ricky. Oh. But yeah, first chance for the Canaries, and it was a good one. I thought they were going to square it. That's why I didn't close them down. What a switch. Nah, he's not catching that. He's not an ostrich. Here we go. Go on, Bobby. Go on, Bobby. Wilkes has gone onside. Didn't play the pass too late. Malik Wilkes, left foot. Oh! Angle was narrowing. Very difficult to hit that on your, on your left foot from that kind of angle. What is that for a challenge, eh? Tell you what, Parrot. Oh, oh, nothing. Wilkes looking for Parrott. Lays it back to Jones. Jones into Thompson. Got Curtis to his left. Jones, Parrott. Wilkes all the way over there to his right. Malik Wilkes lays it back. Touch. Finesse from Bobby Beveridge. It's saved. 
Jones, is he going to be the first to get to the rebound? No, it's cleared away. Just comes in. Jack heads it away. Beveridge is going to get there first, I hope. Yes, he is to Jones. Jones to Parrott. Wasn't the best of passes. Could have waited to play that. Could have got a better ball through. The half-time here at Carrow Road. Even game, tricky game. Not the most entertaining because it's been such a hard-fought game. Teams have had few chances. Best chance of the game falling to Norwich early on. Bobby's picked that up in midfield, hasn't he? Stray pass. Not the man you want to be stray passing to, is it? Because he can pick a pass out like that. Ronan Curtis has got Parrot at the back stick. Can we pick him out? Troy Parrot. No, no, no. Into Parrot. Sharp turn. Ricky J. Jones, the man of the moment. Very much the man of the moment. Scoring all the goals right now for us. After his permanent loan. His loan switch was made permanent. Parrot. Oh, God, man. He might have to come off. I think he's tired. Got a big run of games. Go on, Ricky. Ah, oh. Is that us? Is that our free kick? Oh, it is. The handball. Troy Parrott, the man who's placing the ball down. Ref with the magic spray. Curtis to get it up and over the wall. And into the back of that net. Ronan Curtis. Hit the wall. Ball has played forward. 20 minutes to go. Norwich on the attack. Hugill plays it inside. Yes, Norris. It's the advantage to having him at the back there. He is solid. Parrott running out of stamina. Going to have to come off. Charlie Austin is waiting to come on next time the ball goes out of play. Chance for Norwich here, though, to go in front. Good save, Big Mac. It's actually a double change. Both those strikers coming off. Charlie Austin will come on. Marcus Harness coming on. Harness will play on the right. Malik Wilkes goes up top with Charlie Austin. Final 15 minutes. Big Mac comes, gets a punch on that. It's a weak one, though. Ball is not properly cleared. Norwich still in the ascendancy. And they've scored. But... It's okay. I can see the linesman. Got his flag up. The let off for us here. That must have been tight. We're not going to get to see it again because I've skipped the replay like a spoon. Put it forward. That is not offside. Here's Ronan Curtis. Go on, boy. Can we snatch it? Curtis lays it off. Thompson. I'm going to lay it off one more. Bobby Beveridge. Oh, why are you hitting that on your right foot, son? Game is so open. A goal now would be a winner. And Norwich in the ascendancy, they've got a man in the middle. Norwich trying to get back, and he can't. And he can't get back. Hugo, he's had chances in this game. Got a goal disallowed for offside. Now he's found the breakthrough. The Canaries lead with not a long time remaining. Johnson just couldn't get back. Norwich couldn't get the wrong side of his right side of his man. He's tried to take him out. Nothing. Good finish in the end, to be fair. Nothing Big Mac could do. Good volley. Kicking the teeth in an episode where we played so well. We knew this game was going to be a toughie. We played two teams at the bottom end of the table. Now it's time to play the team aiming for promotion. And we've come up short with some sloppy play, I must say. Really poor passing. Finishing's been off. It's all kind of been off. We haven't really created a great deal. And Norwich, good value for their lead, to be fair. Harness. It was at Austin. Austin finds Wilkes. Wilkes to Curtis. Curtis looking for the run of Malik Wilkes. Get there, son. Oh, he has. Malik Wilkes could level it. Malik Wilkes. Out of nowhere. In stoppage time. He's gone up front and we've leveled the score. With our first real opportunity of the game. We're celebrating in front of those Pompey fans. That is a madness. We don't deserve that at all. I won't, wow, who was that? Steady cannon. We don't deserve that at all. Scenes in the away end. A couple of people, even though they're on the back row, facing the back. Each to their own, I suppose. Not even the best of finishes, is it? But the ball found its way in the back of the net, and that's all you can hope for. Malik has come up trumped. Lovely. Look how quiet it's gone. The crowd. Stunned into silence. Full-time whistle about to go as well. Go on, ref. Do the honours. Ripple of applause. No boos. But they'll be disappointed. Feels like a win for us, even though obviously it is two points dropped. But we go home with a point. As Sheffield United march on. 12 wins now from 12 games. That is nuts. West Ham leapfrog us and go into second place. We're level on points, but they've got a better goal difference, as you can see here. Watford in fourth. So tough league, isn't it, the championship? You've got Villa in seventh. Nottingham Forest, European Cup winners. Reading. 
Oh, what have I pressed? Hit your controller on the desk, you dweeb. Now then. Look, we've got big team Stoke, Middlesbrough, boom. We've all, all mid-table. Mid-table, down at the bottom. Poor Hull. Yet to win in 12 games. But that's where we're going to end it, guys. Don't forget to check out Skillshare down in the description. First 1,000 of you to do it. Get access to some wicked courses if you want to learn some stuff. So, yeah, be sure to do that. Double episode, you're welcome. Drop a like, subscribe, all that jazz. See you next time.